Hi Alice Salman, hello everyone, welcome to Learn Norwegian with the NLS Norwegian Language School. Are you learning Norwegian and want to expand your vocabulary to discuss relationships and family? Or perhaps you're planning to visit Norway and want to understand the local terminology better? In our guide today, we will walk you through common relationship terms in Norwegian, helping you navigate conversations about love, family and friendships with ease. Learning these terms will not only enhance your language skills, but also provide insights uh, into Norwegian culture and social norms. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced learner, we will provide valuable information to help you communicate more effectively in Norwegian. Understanding family relationship terms is crucial in any language. Norwegian, like many languages, has uh, specific terms for various family members. Here's a comprehensive list of common Norwegian terms for family relationships. Forelder, forelder, forelder. Parents, the term forelder, forelder, forelder is used to refer to parents collectively. For individual parents, you would say far, 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 father, papa, 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 dad. Mor, 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 mamma, 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 mother, mom, susken, 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 siblings. Susken, susken, susken is a collective term for siblings, for specific uh, siblings. Bror, 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 brother. Söster, 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 sister. Lille bror, lille bror, lille bror, little brother, younger brother. Lille søster, lille søster, lille søster, little sister, younger sister. Store bror, store bror, store bror, big brother, older brother. Store søster, store søster, store søster, big sister, older sister. Beste foreldre, beste foreldre, beste foreldre, grandparents. For grandparents collectively use beste foreldre, beste foreldre, beste foreldre, beste foreldre, beste foreldre. Individual terms are beste far, beste far, beste far, grandfather, beste mor, beste mor, beste mor, grandmother. Some families might use more informal terms like mufa, 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 maternal grandfather or Farmor, 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 paternal grandmother. Extended family in Norwegian uh, has um, specific terms for extended family members. Onkel, 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 uncle. Tante, 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 aunt. Fette, 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 male cousin. Cousine, 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 female cousin. Never, never, never. Nephew, niece, 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 niece. In-law relationships have their own set of terms. Sigefar, 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 father-in-law. Sigemor, 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 mother-in-law. Svage, 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 brother-in-law. Svigerinne, Svigerinne, Svigerinne. Sister-in-law, svigerdatter, 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 daughter-in-law, svigersen, 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 son-in-law. Step-family. Blended families are common and Norwegian has terms for step-relationships. Stefar, 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 stepfather, stemor, 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 stepmother, stesøsken, 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 step-siblings. Stebro, 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 stepbrother, stepsister, 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 stepsister. Children terms for uh, children include barn, 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 child can be used for both singular and plural. Son, 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 daughter, 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 daughter. Other family terms. Older foreldre, older foreldre, older foreldre, great grandparents, older barn, older barn, 
oldu ban great grandchild good daughter good daughter good daughter god daughter good son good son good son god son foster ban foster ban foster ban foster child Understanding these terms will help you navigate conversation about family and relationships in Norwegian. It's worth noting that in Norwegian culture, family is highly valued, and it's common to maintain close relationships with extended family members. Romantic relationships are a universal aspect of human experience, and Norwegian has a rich vocabulary to describe various aspects of love and partnership. Here are some key terms. Kjæreste, 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 boyfriend, girlfriend. This gender-neutral term literally means dearest and is used for both male and female partners in a romantic relationship. It's commonly used regardless of the couple's age or the seriousness of the relationship. Samboe, 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 cohabitant, live-in partner. This term refers to a partner you're living uh, with but not married to. It's a very common arrangement in Norway, where many couples choose to live together before instead of getting married. Forlovede, 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 fiancé, when a fiancé, fiancé, when a couple gets engaged they become forlovede, forlovede. Full over the, to each other. Ektefelle, 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 spouse. This is a gender neutral term for married partner. You can also use man, 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 husband, kone, 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 wife, partner, 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 partner. This term is often used in more formal context or to describe a long term relationship, especially in same sex relationships. Elske, 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 elskerinne, 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 lover. These terms, masculine and feminine forms, respectively, are less common in everyday speech and might be considered more poetic or literary. X, 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 X. Just like in English, this prefix can be added to any of the above terms to indicate a former relationship. For example, X Yazda, X Yazda, X Yazda, X boyfriend, girlfriend, X man, X man, X man, X husband. Understanding the nuances of these terms can help you navigate conversations about relationships in Norwegian society. It's worth noting that Norway is very progressive when it comes to relationships and family structures. Cohabitation before or instead of marriage is common and same-sex relationships are fully accepted and uh, legally recognized. Friendships and social connections are vital in Norwegian culture. Here are some common terms used to describe various types of social relationships. Ven, 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 veninne, 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 friend, male, female. These are the most common terms for friends. Ven, ven, ven is masculine, while veninne, veninne, veninne is feminine. However, ven, ven, ven can also be used in a gender neutral way. Beste ven, beste ven, beste ven, beste veninne, beste veninne, beste veninne, best friend, male, female. These terms are used to describe a very close friend or a best friend. Kamerat, 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 or kamerat, buddy, pal. These terms uh, is often used among men to describe a friend, uh, similar to buddy or pal in English. Kumpis, 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 mate, buddy. Another informal term for a friend, similar to kamerat, 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 uh, but can be used for both male and female friends. Kollega, 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 colleague. This term is used for co-worker or professional associate. Bekjent, 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 bekjent. Acquaintance. Used to describe someone you know, but not well enough to consider a friend. Nabo, 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 neighbor. This term is used for people living near you. 
klassekamerat, klassekamerat, klassekamerat. Uh, classmate used to describe uh, someone you attend uh, or attended school with. Med student, med student, med student, fellow student or similar to klassekamerat, 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 but more commonly used in higher education settings. Lagkamerat, 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 teammate, used in sports or other team activities to describe fellow team members. In Norwegian culture, building and maintaining friendships is important, but it can sometimes take time. Norwegians often have a smaller circle of close friends and a larger circle of acquaintances. The concept of small talk is less common in Norway compared to some other cultures, and conversations tend to be more direct and purposeful. Chef, 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 boss manager. This is the general term for a superior in a workplace hierarchy. Leder, leder. Leader, leader, often used interchangeably with chef, 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 but can also imply a more collaborative or team-oriented approach to leadership. Medarbeider, 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 co-worker, colleague. This term is used to describe people you work with regardless of their position in the company hierarchy. Ansat, 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 employee. This term refers to anyone employed by a company. Arbeitsgiver, 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 employer, the person or entity that uh, employs others. Kunde, 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 customer, client, used in business context to refer to those who buy goods or services. Leverandeur, 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 supplier, a person or company that provides goods or services to another company. Forretningspartner, 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 business partner, someone you're in business with or collaborating with professionally. Mentor, 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 mentor. Similar to English, this term is used for someone who provides guidance and advice in a professional context. Lärling, lärling, lärling. Apprentice, uh, someone learning a trade or profession under the guidance of an experienced practitioner. Understanding these terms can be crucial in navigating professional relationships in Norway. The Norwegian workplace culture tends to be less hierarchical than in many other countries, with a focus on equality and collaboration. It's common to address uh, colleagues, including superiors, by their first names. Norwegian, like uh, people in many cultures, use terms of endearment to express affection for loved ones. Here are some common terms. Kjære, 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 dear. This is a versatile term that can be used for romantic partners, family members, or close friends. Elskling, 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 darling, a term of endearment uh, uh, often used between romantic partners. Vennen, 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 my friend. Despite its literal meaning, it is often used as a term of endearment for partners or uh, children. Skatten, 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 treasure, similar to calling someone honey or sweetheart in English. Gulle, 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 literal the gold used affectionately for loved ones. Lille ven, lille ven, lille ven, little friend, often used for children similar to little one in English. Söta, 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 sweetie, a term of endearment borrowed from Swedish, more common in uh, some regions of Norway. It's worth noting that Norwegians tend to use terms of endearment more sparingly than in some other cultures, particularly in public settings. The use of these terms is generally reserved for close relationships and intimate settings. Norway is a progressive country when it comes to gender equality, and this is reflected in the language. Many traditionally gender terms have gender neutral alternatives. Partner, 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 used for romantic partner regardless of gender. Ektefelle, 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 spouse, a gender neutral term for a married partner. Samboe, 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 cohabitant. As mentioned earlier, this term is used for unmarried partners living together regardless of gender. Forelder, 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 parent, while 
mor, 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 mother and far, 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 father are gendered. Förälder, förälder, förälder is a gender neutral term for parent. Susken, 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 sibling. This term covers brothers and sisters uh, collectively. Barn, 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 child used for children regardless of gender. Beste förälder, beste förälder, beste förälder. Grandparent, a gender neutral alternative to beste mor, beste mor, beste mor, grandmother, or beste far, beste far, beste far, grandfather. The use of gender neutral language is becoming increasingly common in Norway, particularly in official and professional contexts. Understanding how to describe different stages and status of relationship in Norwegian can be very useful. Here are some key terms. Single, single, single. Single used to describe someone who is not in a romantic uh, relationship. Yet for whole, yet for whole, yet for whole in a relationship. This phrase is used to describe someone who is in a committed uh, relationship. They are complicit, they are complicit, they are complicit. It's complicated just like in English. This phrase is used when a relationship status is not straightforward. Full of it, full of it, full of it, engaged. Used when a couple has agreed to get married. Gift, 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 married. Describe someone who is married. Separate, 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 separated. Used for married couples who are living apart but not yet divorced. Schilt, 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 divorced. Describe someone who um, was previously married but is now legally divorced. Enke, enke, enke. Enkeman, enkeman, enkeman. Widow, widower, used for someone whose spouse has passed away. Put dating app, put dating app, put dating app on dating apps. A modern phrase used to describe someone actively using dating applications. Or gör det slut, or gör det slut, or gör det slut. To break up, the act of ending a romantic relationship. Or free, or free, or free. To propose the act of asking someone to marry you. Understanding these terms can help you navigate uh, conversations about relationships and relationship statuses in Norwegian. To help you discuss relationships in Norwegian, here are some useful phrases. Ja single, ja single, ja single, I'm single. Ja kjæreste, ja kjæreste, ja kjæreste, ja boyfriend, girlfriend. De er gift, de er gift, de er gift, they are married. Hun er min samboe, hun er min samboe, hun er min samboe. She is my living partner. Han flydde i går, han flydde i går, han flydde i går, he proposed yesterday. Vi skal gifte oss neste år, vi skal gifte oss neste år, vi skal gifte oss neste år. We are getting married next year. De har netto blitt foreldre. De har netto blitt foreldre. De har netto blitt foreldre. They have just become parents. Hun er min beste venn, veninne. Hun er min beste 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 veninne. She is my best friend. Vi er kollega. 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 Vi er colleagues. De gikk fra hverandre for en måned siden. De gikk fra hverandre for en måned siden. De gikk fra hverandre for en måned siden. They broke up a month ago. Practicing these uh, phrases can help you become more comfortable with discussing relationships in Norwegian. Remember, language learning is a journey, and the more you practice, the more natural the terms, uh, these terms and phrases will become. Like in any culture, Relationships in Norway can face challenges. Understanding the vocabulary related to relationship difficulties and support systems can be helpful. Part therapy, part therapy, part therapy, couples therapy. Many Norwegian couples are open to seeking professional help when facing relationship issues. Conflict, 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 conflict. Used to describe disagreements and disputes within a relationship. Communications problem. Communications problem. 
kommunikationsproblem, communication problems, a common issue in relationships referring to difficulties in effectively expressing thoughts and feelings, utroskap, utroskap, utroskap in fidelity. This term is used to describe cheating or being unfaithful in a relationship. Tillitsproblemer, 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 trust issues refers to difficulties in trusting one's partner. Familierådgivning, 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 family consulting, counseling, family counseling, familierådgivning. Professional support for families dealing with various issues. Chilsmissa advokat, chilsmissa advokat, chilsmissa advokat, uh, divorce, uh, divorce lawyer, a legal professional specializing in uh, uh, divorce cases. Megling, megling, megling. Mediation, a process used to resolve conflicts, often used in uh, divorce uh, proceedings. Norwegians generally have a pragmatic approach to relationship challenges and are often willing to seek professional help when needed. The digital age has brought uh, new dimensions to relationships and Norway being a technologically advanced country has embraced these changes. Here are some terms related to online relationships and dating. Net dating, net dating, net dating, online dating. The practice of using websites and apps to meet potential partners. Profile, 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 profile. Your personal page on a dating site or social media platform. Or swipe, or swipe, or swipe to swipe. The action of moving your finger across the screen, commonly used in dating apps. Match, 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 match. When two people express mutual interest on a dating app. Ghosting, ghosting, ghosting. Practice of suddenly ceasing all communication with someone you've been dating or talking to online. Catfishing, the act of creating a fake online profile to deceive someone. Long distance of our whole, long distance of our whole, long distance of our whole, long distance relationship. A romantic relationship where partners are geographically separated. While online dating is common in Norway, many people still prefer to meet potential partners to mutual friends or social activities. Norway is known for its progressive stance on LGBTQ rights, and this is reflective in the language used to discuss diverse relationships. Shive, 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 queer, an umbrella term for LGBTQ plus individuals becoming more commonly used in Norway. Homophile, 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 lesbisk, 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 gay, lesbian. Terms used to describe same-sex attracted individuals. Be feel, be feel, be feel, bisexual. Someone attracted to more than one gender. Trans person, trans person, trans person, trans person. An individual whose gender identify, identity differs from their assigned sex at birth. Ikke binar, ikke binar, ikke binar. Non-binary, someone who doesn't identify exclusively as male or female. Like a like a par, like a par, like a par. Same sex couples used to describe a couple of the same gender. Rainbow family, rainbow family, rainbow family, rainbow family, a family with LGBTQ plus parents. Norway Norway legalized same sex marriage in 2009, and LGBTQ plus relationships are widely accepted in. Society. The language around LGBTQ plus issues continues to evolve to be more inclusive. Understanding relationship milestones in Norwegian culture can provide insights, insights into the typical progression of relationship. First to date, first to date, first to date, first date, often casual and may involve activities like going for a coffee or a walk. Bli sammen, bli sammen. Blissamen, becoming a couple, the point at which two people decide to be in an exclusive relationship. Möte föräldrarna, möte föräldrarna, möte föräldrarna, meeting the parents, an important step, though it might happen later in the relationship compared to some cultures. 
flytte sammen, flytte sammen, tøtte sammen, moving in together, a significant step before, occur, uh, often occurring before marriage, forlovelse, 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 engagement. While traditionally not all couples choose such, uh, to get engaged before marriage. Brillup, brillup, brillup. Wedding. Norwegian weddings can range from small, intimate affairs to large celebrations. For barn, for barn, for barn. Having children. Many couples choose to have children, whether married or not. It's worth noting that these milestones are not universal, and many Norwegians choose different parts for their relationships. The order and timing of these events can vary greatly between couples. Understanding relationship terms in Norwegian goes beyond just learning vocabulary. It provides insights into Norwegian culture, values and social norms, from family structures to romantic partnerships, from professional connections to online dating. The Norwegian language offers a rich array of terms to describe various relationships. Unlock a world of opportunity and connect with a rich cultural heritage by learning Norwegian from zero to hero with the NLS Norwegian Language School. Our immersive uh, courses and expert instructors guide you every step of the way, ensuring you become fluent and confident in the language. Do you want to learn more Norwegian? We are now offering a free, one free Norwegian trial class. Sign up for a free trial class by going to our website, nlsnorwegian.no, nlsnorwegian.no.